Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I have a bookshelf tour for you. All right, so today we're doing a bookshelf tour. Um, so I'm probably not gonna go into super detail, you know, like some people do where they pull out every single book and show you what's on the shelf. It will give you an overview of what is on each shelf and you know, how I decided to organize books this year. And yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, dive right in. Okay, so first of all, up top of the taller bookshelves, we have the old bottles that have been here since I started the channel, my mermaid, another bottle, my Deadpool figures, and my Spider-Man figure. And then on to the first shelf. Okay, so first up we have Alice. We have a dragon, a candle in my goblet cup that I really love, and then for the books. So behind Alice, we have my Emily Louis Jones books. Um, we have House of Salt and Sorrows, Winterwood, and then everything else is just kind of what was vibing together, I guess. So we've got a couple of retellings, then some historical kind of stuff, I don't know. Um, and then we've got some paperbacks, my Black Blade series, This Adventure Ends, You've Reached Sam, which this comes out in November. If you guys are interested in it. Hell's Moving Castle, Field Guide to the North American Teenager. Okay, and moving to the next shelf. So this one is actually kind of a, it's a loose sci-fi fantasy shelf. All Systems Red, uh, Star Daughter in the Hazelwood, um, my Eve pop figure, which I love, a plant, this one I got at Marshall's, my Wayward Children books that I've got so far, the second and third book in the Murderbot Diaries, a couple more sci-fis, my, my Welcome to Night Vale books, and my Iron Man pop. Then we've got the art wall, my deer and some plants and, you know, candle, candle holder, that kind of stuff, pin hoops that I made. This shelf I'm really, really proud of. So we've got Bloom, Mooncakes, uh, Nimona, Heartstopper, Check Please, Our Dining Table, The First Fence, novel, uh, Running with Lions, The Witch King. I've also got my little Pegasus Pop, um, a couple of tea containers, and a candle. Okay, so this shelf is kind of a mix of romance over here on this side, some urban fantasy, pretty much a little bit of everything. I've got the Foxhole Court, uh, Scapegracers and the Raven Boys, The Night Circus, and Stardust. This pop figure right here, this is Belle from Once Upon a Time. We've got boyfriend material here, red, white, and royal blue, real midnight, a pink mug, this cute little dinosaur that we made out of resin one weekend. This next shelf is basically my Percy Jackson, Rick Roy Arden shelf. So behind my lovely mug that I picked up at Marshall's, uh, we've got all my Percy Jackson books here, the Heroes of Olympus here and here, the Kane Chronicles there and here, and then Percy Jackson's Greek Gods and Greek Heroes that are the illustrated editions. Also got a Golden Fleece inspired candle and a little book dragon up there. Some of my contemporary uh, YA books, so we've got Aristotle and Dante, uh, Puddin' and Dumplin', Song Below Water, and of course another dragon. Okay, so this is my V.E. Schwab shelf or it will probably eventually be full V.E. Schwab shelf. So we've got Girls of Paper and Fire, Cooking Kingdom, Six of Crows, and those are out of order. Uh, Sorcery of Thorns, Price Guide to the Occult, and another dragon figure, my Maleficent Pop, a vintage camera that I love. Uh, this plant came from Marshalls. And then we have my Shades of Magic series, Vicious and Vengeful up there. Okay, and then this shelf is a lot of older YA titles, so this is my little home plaque for Oregon. Uh, in case anybody doesn't know, that's where I'm from. Got another little dragon over here. And behind that, we've got The Hunger Games, um, my Vladimir Todd books. Uh, there's a couple of Owen Colfer books that are mixed in there. Um, as well as my Morganville Vampires books. Okay, and then this shelf is also a bunch of older YA titles. So this one we have my Alex Ryder books. We've got some of the older Artemis Fowl books. These are really, really old. These are probably first edition. This one is actually a an ARC copy of Lost Colony. 
And then we have this little wooden sign from, so this little plaque is from Monsters of Verity by B.E. Schwab. And then I've got some of my more up here's books. So from here to here, these are the Circle of Magic books. Um, and then I've got some Scott Westerfeld's The Midnighters books. And then bottom shelf, we've got some really, really old middle grade and early YA books. So over here, I've got my Del Toro Quest books, um, The Vampire Kisses, the Narnia books, a pair of beach books, and a couple of others that I've had for a very long time. All right, and then this shelf is also, again, some really older YA titles. So I've got the first four, the Maximum Ride manga adaptations, and then my Maximum Ride books. This series right here is the Queen's Quarter Knot series, I think. Not sure. Uh, some older YA titles and a couple of anthologies. Okay, moving on to the bookshelf with the deer on top of it. So these are my Chicago and Vampires books, Dread Nation, um, some YA books, Queen's Rising, a Nightmare Affair, and a cute little tennis playing dragon. Okay, so I did a little rearranging of this shelf. Um, I switched all of my books that had been here to over here because when I was filming this month I noticed that all of my uh, Chicago Land Vampires books kind of sucked up all the light in this corner and it was very dark so I just kind of switched everything around and I really like it it's different that looks pretty much the same though okay so this one is kind of a mix of a books and some adult books so we've got my uh, Red Robin pop. We've got my Red Hood pop. Behind Red Robin, we've got the Vampire Academy books. I've got my Virulent books. I've got a couple, a couple of anthologies. Ready Player One. Behind Red Hood, I've got some adult books. So I've got my Roaring Twenties books. Those are a paranormal romance. Uh, Dune. American Gods, Norse Code, Tinker. And then this bottom shelf is mostly paranormal romance and my copies of Uglies. So we've got the Tempest books over here, my Sabina Kane books. And then this pile you guys have probably seen in the background of a couple of videos already. This is my unhaul pile that we will talk about in a future video. All right, so this whole shelf is storage for all of the stuff that I put on my bookshelves. I've got my British flag back there. Um, yeah. Oh, I also have a desk that is covered in stuff still, but I have a desk now. The windows with some plants that doesn't want to focus. Here's what I usually see. So I've got a light there, a light there. I do have my tripod, but I don't have my ring light set up yet. But then I also have another couple of bookshelves. Okay, so here's where I put my little lens cap and my bag for my mic. Uh, so this book up here is from 1908, I think. And my grandma gave it to me. And then almost this entire shelf is my Cassandra Clare books. There are a couple of other books over here, and then down here I've got my Aragon books, my uh, Grishaverse books. Here is a bunch of um, urban fantasy books, so I've got my Owl and the Japanese Circus books. I've got my Cow and Nico books, the Iron Druid books, and then the last bookshelf. So I've got art up there, I've got my book tins from Owl Crate that are inspired by the Shades of Magic series. And then I've got my Cinder, or the Lunar Chronicles books, uh, Fangirl, the Dreadful Taylor Prosper Redding. I've got my Nora manga over here next to my globe. And then I've got some more urban fantasy books. 
And then all of my Suki Stackhouse books, Stephanie Meyer books, Twilight, The Host, and then just some random books. So I've got 13 Reasons Why, and then I've got my little star over here. All right, so that is it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So how are you guys organizing your books? Let me know down below. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already but would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.